Hey guys, the much awaited firmware update for our radios is now here. It's supposed to come over the air on the radios. If you don't want to wait for it or if it doesn't happen, you can go to the website and download it, which is what I did last night. I had some spare time and I was curious to see how this is going to work. So all you need is two things really. You need this uh, link which I'm going to provide in the comments and you need your VIN number. Which I like to keep my VIN number somewhere where I can cut and paste it. So it's a little quicker than typing in all those numbers. Check for update. Yes, there's the update. That's the one we've been looking for. What this does is enables you to update your GPS map if you want to. Even if you don't want to, it's a looks. It looks to be a good upgrade. It really changes the looks of your radio and in, in some of the menus. It's amazing. This is a huge update. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. We'll see what so we'll see how it works. But uh, I got a 2014 4x4 uh, RAM 2500 Cummins. And so let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to see is option one. They put this up there first, like they want you to do it first. But I recommend not doing this. This Akamai or whatever it is, net section, you don't need that. That's just an extra step. Just go straight to the option two, which is download the update direct directly. So let's look at that. Yep, we want to download it. We don't need to look at the tutorial instructions or anything because that's for sissies I'm sure I will regret saying that later uh, a desktop that's as good as any place let's just go ahead and save it to the desktop and of course you're going to need a thumb drive to carry out to your truck so you can see right now it says down here in the corner about three minutes to download this so we'll just let that happen. Okay, so it's finished downloading to the desktop. That's an easy place to remember. We can delete this file after we get all this done. But let's uh, do one other thing first. We know it's on the desktop. In fact, we can go take a look at it now if we want to. But the very first thing we want to do is make sure that our thumb drive is prepared to in the right format to actually update the firmware. In other words, it needs to be in the FAT32 uh, protocol, for lack of a better word. Now my thumb drive is right here. All you do is just right click format quick formats fine just make sure that you're formatting in that fat 32 the default there's some other choices but use fat 32 it goes real quick yeah, takes a few seconds and then we got a clean th thumb drive there you go there it is okay so now let's look at our actual file and here it is right here, the Uconnect file. Now if you left click on it, all it's going to do is show you what's in it. And that's fine. But there's really nothing to do with those files. I guess you could copy them over to your thumb drive if you wanted to. But I think there's an easier and, and cleaner way to do it. And that's to right click on it and just extract. Because you want to extract them what I was doing previously was just showing you what's in the zip file it wasn't actually extracting them so right click on it it's gonna ask you where do you want to put this thing we want to put it on that thumb drive right in my case it's the end drive it's the USB drive and we select the folder and we extract because those files have to go into the root directory if you extracted this file directly to the uh, or if you copied it when you download the file if you downloaded this directly to your thumb drive it would create 
of this folder and then it would create those other files and your truck would not be able to find those files so don't do it that way because it's not going to work it's just your truck's just going to sit there like if nothing like if your USB thumb drive wasn't even inserted so there it is let's look at our drive now this is that thumb drive drive we're looking at and there's the two files we needed that's all we need right there they're on the thumb drive we've got a good clean thumb drive no extra folders nothing on it that's the way it needs to be so let's go out to the truck and update this thing okay so we've got our thumb drive in hand we're ready to do the update we have not inserted the thumb drive yet let's go over to the screen where we need to be we press apps settings and then we're going to scroll down to the system information and after my camera finishes focusing you can see that the software version that's in there now is 161313 okay so let's insert the USB drive and by the way your truck needs to be in run not accessory while you're doing all of this the good thing is once it's finished it's going to turn your truck to the off position so you once you hit this yes button you can go ahead and leave your truck because this is going to be about a at least a 30 but probably closer to 45 minutes to do this update it's a pretty long significant update and we'll just let this thing go it goes through a couple of screen flashes and things at first that kind of make you worry a little bit but eventually it'll settle down into the uh, mode of just updating and everything will work out fine and we'll come back when this thing is finished updating but initially it's going to show you there it's waiting for there you go it's it says three updates and it's doing two out of three so that would lead you to believe oh well, it's about you know just a few more minutes but after this is 15 more to come so at least 30 to 45 minutes of updating here and uh, when your truck is off you'll know that it's done and then you can crank it back up or put it on run do whatever you want check out the updates but it does change your uh, menu system as you'll see when we finish so let's let this go and we'll come back to it okay so that took about 30 45 minutes I just watched Alabama get beat by Auburn so when it's done your screen is gonna go black that's when your truck turns itself off everything is finished and now this is when you want to go ahead and pull your USB drive out of the socket and you're ready to turn your truck back on okay so we're done with the update as you can see the menu system has changed the app button is in the middle now and you can see that the app icons are completely different so there's a lot of things different here it added some some more icons uh, we'll just have to play with it and see you can see that the whole menu system is kinda kinda rearranged I don't know if it's for the good or the bad we'll just have to find out for my own opinions on that but uh, this concludes the update uh, the next the next thing to do would be to uh, update the GPS now that we have the 17 update on our system so if you want to do that we'll be getting into that next I'll be ordering the update and doing that but for now thanks for watching and adios